All right. What do I play today? Oh man. I forgot that I bought so many games during the last team sale. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're anything like me, you probably have a bunch of games in your backlog, especially after buying a Steam Deck that has probably grown a lot. And during Steam sales, it's very easy to just purchase a bunch of games and tell yourself that you're gonna play through all of them and feel overwhelmed when you actually are looking for something to play and sorry to that backlog is probably a nightmare for you you do want to play all those games but you never find the time you don't know if they run on your steam deck you don't know how well they run you don't know how long the game is going to take to finish and if you can even afford to finish it but today i've got a solution to all of these problems and it's a little app called deck filter so today we're going to be taking a look at deck filter which is an app you can download on your phone and i'm going to talk you through what it actually does why it is really really good companion for your steam deck and how it can actually change your gaming habits and without further ado let's jump right in So what exactly is Deck Filter? Deck Filter is a mobile companion app designed specifically for Steam Deck users and it's available on Android and iOS and gives you a deep filtering tools to better browse and sort through your game collection, which is way beyond what the Steam Deck interface offers. For example, after syncing my library, I can go into and filter by very specific things. So if I click this button here, I can filter by time to beat. I can filter by specific tags, compatibility, Proton DB, release dates, Steam reviews, pretty much everything that you ever need to filter through. So let's break down the features that make Deck Filter such a powerhouse. So you want a quick game to finish over the weekend? You can filter by playtime. If you go over here, time to beat, and then we can just say tiny, set zero to two hours, and we can just show 167 games. Now this time is estimated through a website called How Long To Beat and this is actually also a mod that you can download on your Steam Deck but you have it integrated here in this app and you can just sort through all of these games that you might have and it will tell you how long it will take the story the story plus extras or until full completion and some of these games can take up to 25 minutes others can take an hour, two hours, I think this will top out at two hours. But if you're looking for something longer, we can just say short, set two to 10 hours main story, or you can actually customize this and select the hours by yourself. Or if the objective is not just main story, but story extras or completionist, you can select that too. And that will show you all of those games. Now you can combine a few features. For example, let's say that I'm looking for a game that takes 10 to 20 hours to fully complete and I want it to be verified on the Steam Deck. Now we all know that verification system on the deck is a bit of a hit and miss, but for this use case, let's just see the games that it will come up with. And of course, I have Fish in my library, which is one of the best games, I'm kidding, of course. But this will show some games that you didn't even know are in your library, games like free-to-play games that were added at one point to your library, whether you wanted it or not. But you were able to see specifically games that have been deck verified, that deck that take 10 to 20 hours to complete. Now let's just get rid of this one. Now, if you want to choose Steam Deck compatibility and just show all of the Steam Deck games that are unverified, but we select the Proton DB option and here you can click on Platinum, Gold, Silver, for example, click Submit, and this will show 138 games that are showing up as incompatible through Valve's Steam Deck verification system. However, on Proton DB, they will show up as Silver, Gold, Platinum, etc. ProtonDB is basically a website where users can share how a game runs through the Proton layer, either on Linux or on Steam Deck. You can click on any game and you can just click on ProtonDB and that will take you to the page for that specific game. And here you can see users reporting how the game ran. Sometimes a lot of users will share tips on how to actually run the game which Proton layer and which Proton version work best for them. So we can go right back and this is the website I was talking about, how long to beat. You can click that and that will take you to that website as well. And this website will give you a lot more information on exactly why it takes so long to beat, what takes so long to beat, some guides on how to complete achievements, interactive maps and pretty much everything you might need uh, to fully complete the game if that's uh, your sort of thing. If we go back, there are a couple of different websites you can see here. We have Steam Guys, PC Gaming Wiki, Steam DB, Steam Base, Steam Charts. These are all sites full of information, such as how many people are currently playing the game, what the reviews are like. But if you're not interested in any of that, something else that you can do is you can open a game 
and you can go to game settings here at the bottom and this will open share deck now share deck is a website where people can upload their configuration on how they run the game on steam deck and they will offer you the graphics preset and how to set a frame rate limit how to set graphics so that you'll be able to run it on your steam deck and this will also say uh, an estimated battery life now these are user submitted reports so some of them may vary for some games it might be more than one report of some games might not even have a report at all but this will give you a pretty good idea of how a game runs on the steam deck and you don't have to waste your time watching my videos you can just uh, open this up or, or open proton db and you'll be able to see all the information about how a game might run on the steam deck now this app does have other features as well not just filtering for example you can click this button here and this will give you a random game that you can play and this might be a way for you to explore games in your library that you never thought you wanted to play if you're not sure what you want to play you can just click that button and every time it will give you a random game what else you can do here is that you can filter what you want to see for example we don't want to see proton dbt we don't want to see time to beat we just want to see steam deck compatibility and this will get rid of most of the icons here on the left uh, i personally just like to turn everything on so i can see at the glimpse everything that i need as an information now in bookmarks you can bookmark specific games so for example if i go to library we go to insurgency i click on this bookmark here it has been bookmarked and if i go to bookmarks this will show this specific game you can of course go to your wish list you have to sync it the first time you use it and in order to actually get all this information on this app you have to have your steam profile public and you have to have your games in your steam profile set to public so that it can read that this is a one-time thing uh, when you first watch the app it will take some time to sync up but once it's synced up all this information will be available and that is pretty much it now there is a roadmap on what features will become available uh, what has been done so far and uh, there are a lot of upcoming features from this developer and now the things i like about it is that it's super fast and responsive there's a lot of deep filtering options some of these filters here are not present even on the steam client for example i've always wanted to filter by how long it takes the game to beat and that's not actually available on steam uh, this one pulls data from trusted sources and a lot of websites it has a great mobile ui and the dev is very active and it has a big roadmap with a lot of features now all that being said this is a paid app and I think that's actually a good thing. There are no ads, there's no in-app purchases. You don't have to pay to see your own library or to sort by different filters. And I think this is great. Some of you might be apprehensive about a paid app that might do things that you don't really necessarily need. But I think it's a very good thing that it is a paid app because pretty much supporting the Steam Deck community and uh, it just works. Now, if you're serious about your Steam Deck library, or even if you're just overwhelmed with too many choices, I think deck filter is honestly worth the five bucks. It's now part of my regular routine. Sometimes when I'm not sure what game to review, uh, I check it out. And anytime I want to find something quick to play or something that runs perfectly on the deck, uh, I reach for this app. Uh, sometimes when I'm doing a review on the game or if I'm being contacted by a developer of a game that's previously come out, uh, I do have to check this app to see if the game can even run on this index so that I can accept it for review. And this has become part of my daily routine uh, and uh, I cannot recommend it more. It's a really fantastic app. That's going to be it. A bit of a different video. First time reviewing an actual app. Um, this has not been sponsored. This is not an ad. This is something that uh, I purchased myself and uh, I'm using it daily. This is why I wanted to review it. Uh, I wouldn't really show you something that I'm not using myself. So I hope that this video is helpful and that you guys might want to check out this app. Uh, I think it really will help with your Steam Deck experience. But that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys for checking it out. If you do want to see more Steam Deck content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video.